And, you know, I, I'm getting the word birth pangs, that right now the body of Christ is in birth pangs for this new movement. And it's not fun. Listen, no. it, there are things coming up in your lives. There's things coming up in our lives. The Lord is repositioning. The Lord is changing. And, you know, you know, Chuck has so many kids, but, you know, <laughs> you have that and baby grandkids. and grandkids. Yeah, but it's painful. I mean, and, and the Lord just says, don't be afraid even. I am, I am repositioning things in your life. The Lord cares, it hurts, but these are birth pangs for revival. Mm -hmm. God is cleaning up the church so we will be ready to present a holy church without spot, wrinkle, and blemish. And the, oh, oh yeah, thank you, Lord. And I want to shift a minute because of time. Oh. But Chuck, wow. The Lord says it's the time for the evangelist. Call the evangelist. The Lord says, I will give you favor now to connect with the revivalist. And the Lord says, you've been an apostolic prophetic center, worship center, but Lord, the Lord says, now you're going to be the harvest center. Wow. So find, wow, well, there's wow, a big wow. anointing on this. Find the evangelist. I mean, mm -hmm. find these different people. They're doing different things. And the Lord says, prepare the date for the miracle center to launch. And the Lord says, I'm going to cause you to have such favor with people. And I could name names. We can talk half air about that, but that are coming. And the Lord just says to some of you out there as well, find your evangelists. Find those wow. who are the revivals. And the Lord says some of them, these are young Evan Roberts, you know, who's used in the Welsh revival. These are young leaders and maybe nobody recognizes it, but they're the ones that are going to lead the next movement and come alongside them, says the Lord. Wow. You know, when you're, when you're prophesying this, it just takes me back to Goshen and what Joseph told uh, the, his family. He said, don't tell them what you really are. <laughs> Uh, and he said, uh, in other words, you're going to have to submerge your identity for a while. And I feel like there has been an identity submerged in God's people that he is getting ready to break totally forth. Mike, there's that hammer again. Mm -hmm. He's going to break that good news call out of us in a way we've never had. One of the things we're going to be doing this year is gathering the, the first people tribes here. And uh, that, I, I don't think our land called America can be fully restored till they come back and really, and we've done, I, I remember us starting in 92 and you guys hosting a meeting in 94 on uh, Healing America's Wounds. Mm -hmm. I think now the first people have broken out of a structure enough to be brought back together to be sent out again in this land. And I'm not sure that's not going to have to happen to everybody in the church. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. going to have to be broken out of what has submerged, we've been submerged in. And you're going to see all these evangelists, all these harvesters coming forth mm -hmm. that ha haven't had the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Even the prophetic anointing could make us be settled uh, to not move into the harvest anointing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the prophetic. Mm -hmm. That's one way to say it. And mm -hmm. I really feel like God is going to use you. You're going to, you guys are generals that command. And I see you are commanding us to move forward in a new way. That's another thing I sensed at that meeting. I felt like there, it was uh, all of a sudden the remnant had come together at a command center. Mm, mm, and, mm. And, and we were being commanded to go out in a new way. Mm. We were hearing words that would uh, penetrate us and send us out. So let me ask you something. I believe this has to be replayed uh, for starting the year off right. We always have that gathering. This year we're going to be doing most of it virtually because of the way the dates fall. Mm -hmm. And and 
I believe this has to be replayed so the body of Christ mm-hmm. hear mm-hmm. what you were saying to be sent out. That mm-hmm. will be the next phase. You mm-hmm. gathered together uh, in November, and now this will start penetrating mm-hmm. out in a new way mm. what you brought forth. And so if you guys will give me the permission to do that, I will mm. reshow what you are commanding the body to go forth into. Amen. And listen, remember what the Holy Spirit said, Psalm 23 for 2023. And read it. Read it in different translations. Mm-hmm. You know, just just say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I, right now, I'm going to, besides still watch, right now, you're making those green pastures. Mm-hmm. Goodness and mercy is following me. You know, and, and I'm not going to fear. I mean, just analyze it, preach on it. And, you know, God anoints different passages for different seasons. But he wants to comfort us in this season. And thank you so much for joining us, Chuck. I'm telling you, and the Global Spheres people, I want to just tell you how much I love you. Uh, Every time I'm with you, I come away refreshed. I come away refreshed myself. And I think this is kind of a prophetic um, um, connection together. We're we're always so excited to to share and participate in starting the year off right. Right. You know, and so... Mm -hmm. I think God wants to really fast track some things in 2023. I agree with you. And so I'm excited to hear all the other speakers that you will gather together, even if they're virtual. The word that will go out will coalesce together, and it's really going to be helpful to all the people who normally come to the event in person. Well, thank you let, for let me say us. one last thing. Mm. Jehovah Rohi, I will cause you to see your provision as you move forward. Mm. And the Lord is my shepherd. And that's a prophetic word. We look at it pastorally, but it's a prophetic word. I will cause you to see clearly. I am, I am so excited to get out what you said today. And I'm seeding into this command center that you guys (laughs) run over there. Generals international (laughs) is a good soil and I seed in to get my next assignment. So <laughs> God bless you all. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, this has been, been a great time so together. And we to do thank him. all of our people who watch this. We know it'll be a tremendous blessing for you. And it will set you on your course for the coming days. Yes. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to Prophetic Dateline. Thank you, Chuck. We love you, love you, love, love you. you. Love Thanks you, Thanks so much. God bless you all. Thank you for joining Bye-bye. us.